this beach, but you have to hike an hour and a half. Boats can't go near it. I'm in. One hour. Hiking is the only way in. It's a national treasure and monument of Italy. And limits visitors to 250 a day. Wow. Oh my God. What's up guys? We finally reached Cala Golietze. Absolutely stunning. Considered by some the most beautiful beach in the world. With peaks to summit, hikes to trek, crystal clear water, and natural sea arch, you're one of the lucky 250 if you're able to come. So cool. Swim, hike up here, you can jump. figure out how to do that, by the way. Yeah, this road you drive is pretty, it's pretty dramatic. You're driving on the side of a cliff. See what I mean? but incredible views. So maybe not so much for the person that's scared of heights, you know, but it's a nice road. and there's a restaurant and bar in there it's your last chance to kind of use a real bathroom and then get something to drink but definitely bring a lot of water with you and here's where you have to check in i got my tickets online there's a chance they might still have some available but i wouldn't risk it here we go i'm in oh hey guys This is definitely a hike. You want to wear some pretty sturdy shoes. Here's the path. So far, I'm glad I changed my shoes. Got my, I got my Jesus shoes on. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Tons of lizards. Hope I don't run into a snake like I did in Malta. For the most part, the first part of this hike is going uphill. Hey, buddy. So here's the downhill part. Gotta go all the way down to that beach. <laughs> Literally climb a mountain and, and back to get there. Oh man. But you gotta pay the price to go to the ultimate place, right? The bottom of these shoes are actually legit hiking shoes. So they're really sturdy. You definitely do not want to do this just in sandals. They even check with you at check-in to make sure you have nice shoes. Oh, cool. Yeah, they come through this massive tree that just fell down in the space between and then climb down. And I just saw a pig 
heard a bunch of them over there. It was small, but there's like boars here. So I'm hoping Big Daddy's not around, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm hoping it is not here. <laughs> is mountain lions. Sure looks like a place they would be. That's for that's for sure. Buongiorno. Not far, I think. <laughs> Hey, you guys, you guys climbed that right there? Yeah. What's it called? I forget. <laughs> we, we made the uh, Sule Incantatore. Oh, right? 6 route. What is it? 6 like uh, the difficult. Oh, six right? Route. That's so awesome, man. Wow. And those two guys, they're from Milan. They came here to climb it and they said, they were stoked because there were the only people climbing it today, or, or at least right now. So they got to do it, you know, by themselves without any interference. So that's rad. There's so many different landscapes on this journey and different trees and different types of rocks and animals. Like all these different ecosystems or whatever, environments, all in one hike, only to get to the raddest one, pristine beach, right? Wow. Oh my God. What's up guys? We finally reached Kala Golitze. To preserve the area, they limit its visitors and make sure boats stay away 200 meters from the shore. I guess instead of hiking though, you could anchor offshore and swim in. Wow, there's a lot of people. I guess they got up a lot earlier than I did for the hike. I think I'm gonna go down there where there's less people. A lot of the beaches that we've been visiting are they're like pebble beaches, they're little stones. And just heads up, they're not that easy on the feet, at least not mine. But it's a lot cleaner than sand, just not as soft by any means. Well, I'm gonna try and hide my backpack by these rocks and Hop in that water and I don't know how far that arch is, but we need to go check that out. I was hoping to try to figure out how to climb it and jump it, but there's nobody else out there. So I guess I'm gonna have to go check it out on my own. Long way to that arch, it seems like. <laughs> With one hand on the GoPro and... Look how deep it is.
Okay, I'm literally sitting on the inside wall of the arch right now because I need a I need a rest. <laughs> that was a long swim. I want to swim around the whole thing and hopefully see if I can climb up and jump off. I'm up there somehow. I wasn't able to make it to the top of the arch, but swimming under and around it was a highlight just the same. I think the key is to have somebody hold your stuff, have both hands free, then you can just grab that rock and climb up. So hopefully you can come back and do that again one day. It's so beautiful, I don't even want to leave, but it's getting late in the day and I got to hike out. It's at least two hours, so hope you guys enjoyed this one. Stay tuned, much more coming. The hike out was pretty brutal because it was uphill and I was tired from swimming all day and of course I didn't bring enough water. Only two liters. I suggest bring more for sure, especially if you're going to spend all day. Here's the view when you're driving out. We're getting ready to head south. Go check out more of Sardinia. But until then, here's some other videos and I'll see you guys on the next one.